So for this question then, we're given this equation and asked to use newton raphsons procedure to get this iterative equation. So you should be familiar with the newton raphson formula. I'll just give you it here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just let f of x be equal to the left-hand side here. Okay. So if we just put that in, let f of x equal 2x cubed, then plus x squared minus 1. And we need to get the first differential of f of x. So therefore, if I differentiate f of x with respect to x in the usual way, for this term, you're going to get 3 times 2, which is 6. Reduce the power by 1, and you get 6x squared. Differentiate x squared, you get plus 2x. Differentiate the constant on the end, it's 0. OK? So what we need to do now is just substitute our values into the newton raphson formula. So for the n plus 1th approximation to the root, OK, x, we've got x with the subscript n, and then it's minus, and then we've got our fraction here where we've got f of xn. So I just need to substitute x subscript n into here, and that's going to give me 2x cubed with an n there, plus x squared, and again with subscript n there, minus 1. And it's all over that first differential. So just copy this result in. So we've got 6x squared with a subscript n plus 2x with subscript n. OK? Now, in order to get this fraction, I can see it's all over just one lowest common multiple. So that lowest common multiple here has to be the denominator here. So I'm just going to draw a long line there. And we'll put that denominator in, 6x squared with the subscript n plus 2x with the subscript 10. So when it comes to this term, all I need to do is times it by the denominator here. So we've got again 6x squared with the subscript 10 plus 2x with the subscript 10. And then we have minus and then I'm just going to put in brackets there, copy out what we've got up the top here. 2x cubed n plus x squared n minus 1. OK, just make that a bit longer there. And now all I need to do is expand our brackets and group up terms. You can see here we've got 6x cubed with a subscript n minus the 2x cubed there. So that's going to leave me with 4x cubed with the subscript n. And then here we've got 2x squared, OK, minus the x squared here. And that's going to leave me with plus 1 lot of x squared with the subscript 10. And then you've got the minus, minus 1, which is plus 1. And it's all over then that denominator of 6x squared with the subscript there, plus 2 x with the subscript there. Okay, and that's how we do it.